Hey, what's going on, everyone? Zufet back again, and today we are playing some more Hitman 3. This time, we're going to be back in Dartmoor. We're going to be taking on some more of these mission stories that we did not complete in the first one. So let's take a look here. So we actually did complete Means, Motive, and Opportunity the first time that I've played through this game. This is where you actually discover the Thornbridge mystery, figure out who actually did the murder. And uh, yeah, so we completed it that way, but I have not completed A Day to Remember or her final resting place. So I'm going to complete those in this video, hopefully. And uh, so, yeah, let's just uh, jump right into it. Here we go. Thornbridge Manor. The Carlisle family's home for countless generations. The Revenant Alexa Carlisle and her three adult children, younger brother Zachary, grandson and daughter-in-law, are all gathered to conduct Carlisle's sham funeral. Curiously, Carlisle summoned a famous London PI soon after arriving this morning but his purpose at Thornbridge is yet unclear. Now, the target knows that you're coming, and her guard detail is top-notch. So Mr. Gray will secure their nearby field HQ and intercept all calls going in and out of the estate. Any appeal for backup is going to fall on very deaf ears. Good luck, gentlemen. All right, everyone, let's do this thing. Death in the family. Here we go. So in the first video that I showed here on the channel, we actually disguised ourselves as the private investigator. If you want to see that, then be sure and check that out. I believe that one is called Means, Motive, and Operandi. Or something like that. Means, Motive, and something else. Um, but in this one, I'm going to do some of the other ones. So there's one that you can be a photographer, which it will show I completed. I actually did a little bit of it because I wanted to see how it was done. Um, but I did not show those in my first video, so that's what we're going to do now. All right, so let's go to the mission story. The first one is called A Day to Remember. And so basically I walked through this one, but the uh, the payoff, I did not actually do the payoff right. So I want to make sure we do it this, do it right this time. And I think you all are going to like it. All right, so let's sneak over here. We got to get back there so we can become the photographer. We got to disguise ourselves. Okay, I'm going to just try and get away from this dude. Can you, like, not see me right now, please? Okay, so we need to get a disguise so we can walk back there freely. I mean, that's a breaking heart happening if I ever saw one. Life can be tough sometimes. Alexa, back from the dead. Okay, we got a security guard here. I'm going to try and get his disguise. All too much. We'll all need a vacation. Okay, so I'm going to have to take this guy out with my crowbar. I also bought an, I brought in an emetic syringe, just in case we need to get anyone out of our way. Excellent, good job. That was close. All right, sorry. Um, wasn't going to take you out, but you know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Agent 47 is swift on that, uh, he is swift on the crowbar. Okay, so let's put you in here. Goodbye, see you later. I'll take my crowbar back, and I'll take my coin. I like how this lady is just oblivious. Okay, the security guard there, can we drop down in here? All right. Ooh, a nice little, uh, nice little thing of poison. Okay, I'm gonna let this guy leave. I think he'll, sh he should turn around, I think. Sir, could you please leave? I don't think you have any need to be here. Alright, let's get it. Here we go. Okay, there's some people over there. Okay, so let's get over here. We got to uh, become the photographer. We don't have any extra fuses. Ethel looked everywhere. Oh, you've got to be kidding. No power, no portrait. Oh, Madame Carlyle will be furious. Uh, she expects the family photo to be done any moment now. So, Madame Carlyle wants a picture taken. If you were to assist with the missing fuse, I'm sure the portrait would be one for the ages. I need this shoot to happen, okay? Okay, so we need to become the photographer, I obviously. Need it to be perfect. 
Ooh, a conveniently placed screwdriver every one. I wonder what that's for. Probably to, uh, to mess that plug up. And then we'll grab the fuse just before you call down the fan. Good. Yeah, that's a good plan. And a conveniently located pipe as well. Hmm, how about that? Okay, so I'm going to have to try and get this photographer. I don't know if that's his water bottle, but we could try and poison it. But I'm going to try and get him over here. If I can. Got to worry about that security guard. Okay, so I can't really expose it while she's here. She'll probably notice that, or I would. Okay, so where is he going? I don't know, but I'm going to try and throw a coin over there so he'll walk over that direction. Wow. And we're good to go. Okay, very nice. Put you in there, sir. Okay, anyone going to see me? I need your disguise. Hey, where'd my coin go? Okay, so now we need a fuse. Let's find a fuse cell. Okay, looks like it's going to be over here in whatever this power thing is. Let's go over here and find it. Kablunk. Okay, let's pick this fuse cell up. Should be good. Get the power back up. Okay, let's get over here. And plug it in. Take a photo of the staff member with the photographer's camera. Oh, okay, can do. Why don't you take a picture to test it? Alright, very nice. It works. I'm ready for the shoot. Perfect. I'll call the family down now then. Okay, so now we need to expose this wire. So basically, if you turn on the water, the water comes out of Excellent that hole seven. right there. Madam in Carlisle the middle. Madam is on her way down for the family photo shoot. Let's see if any memorable moments will play out in front of the camera. Okay, so I need to turn this water on. Basically, I didn't want to shock anyone on accident, so I never did this the first time. But we're going to actually do it right this time. So um, it's going to take a few minutes or a little bit for them to come down. So I am going to make a quick cut, and whenever it's time for the photo, let's do it. All right, everyone, she is here. To be efficient. I have a lot to see to today. I'll do my best. All right, everybody, so whenever they get here, I'm going to have to turn that water on. Oh, the water's already on. I forgot we already had the water on. Listen, okay. Everyone. I understand that you oh, have boy. a lot of questions. Please be patient for a little longer. I will address you in the sitting room afterwards. Right, get in position. Let's get this over with. That yes, is let's. Phineas Whitmer, the famous private investigator hired by Madame Carla this morning. Oh, I'm curious why Just he's here. Stuff, Maybe you should do some detecting yourself, 47. All right, everyone, so let's do this. Chin up, Edward. No one wants to look at that long face. You're such an idiot, Gregory. I'm fine, Rebecca. Fine? You look like a nose rag. Stop bickering. All right, well, everyone, I say cheese. Oh, <laughs> what a good picture. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, we might want to be gone. That's Madame Carlyle taken care of. Time to get the file on Arthur Edwards. All right, everyone, so we took out Madame Carlyle that way. So now I'm going to make a quick cut, and we are going to do the other... Um, form of uh, mission story. So yeah, we're going to do the last mission story here and um, I will see you then. So quick cut and I'll see you there. Alright everyone, so uh, the last mission story is called Her Final Resting Place. And I'm going to give you a little bit of a description about that. So let's see, it says Pre Present the funeral arrangements to Alexa Carlisle. Madam Carlisle is still going ahead with her stage funeral tomorrow and she wants to inspect the arrangements. How about it, 47? You feel up to giving her the grand tour of her final resting place? Okay, so I think we are up to the task. I definitely think we are. So we need hey, to get over there to her. Are you? I need to avoid that guy. Okay, how am I going to do that? 
How am I going to do that? Okay, let's run around him. Excuse me, sir. Oh, look at that fancy car. I guess they are rich, that's for sure. Okay, so both... Dang, everyone over here will know who I am. I gotta be careful. Did you give the Fitzpatrick touch to Madame Carlisle's door? Rebecca? Yes. She's insistent, that one. She kept asking all kinds of questions. Who had the other one? Why I gave it to her? That sort of thing. You did make sure she didn't see you give the other one to the butler? Oh, of course. Tokens for Rebecca and Mr. Fernsby. According to the bodyguards, Rebecca Carlisle and Mr. Fernsby, the butler, have each been given a token for the Milton Fitzpatrick Bank. When combined, the tokens grant access to a deposit box to whoever holds the set. This deposit box may well contain a copy of the case file in Arthur Edwards. Okay. That's useful to know. Okay, now how am I going to get down to this graveyard? Okay, looks like I can go through here, hopefully. Security detail at a staged funeral event tomorrow. <laughs> That'll be a first. Ooh, there was some more security right there. Ooh, gotta be careful. Madam Carlyle wants to inspect the arrangements for the staged funeral tomorrow. What's the delay? It's the birds. They're making a racket, droppings everywhere. The undertaker wants them gone before he'll see Madam Carlyle. He's in a right state. So, unless you want to take on the birds, I suggest you stay clear of him. Oh, no, my aim's horrible. Madame Carlyle is still going ahead with her staged funeral tomorrow, and she wants to inspect the arrangements. How about it, 47? You feel up to giving her the grand tour of her final resting place? Safer for everyone. Of course, of course we are. He says he's ready for Madame. All right, so there he is. We're going to take out the birds. Okay, there's some dirt here. I'm guessing that this is actually going to end up being her final resting place. I have a feeling. There's the shovel to do it. Blend in as a gardener. Hey, right, we can pick up the shovel. I think we'll drop it, though, if we pick up anything else. Yeah, because we can't only hold it. Okay, everybody, let's look around. I'm just going to carry the shovel. I don't know if it's useful. There's a brick. Okay, we're going to have to take out these birds somehow, but i got to do it where I'm not going to get caught. Okay, maybe we need to get rid of this guy right here. Okay, there's a security guard right there. I don't want to get caught by him. Hmm? What was that noise? Okay, sir, I'm going to get rid of you because I do not want to get caught shooting down bird nests. And in you go. In you go. Okay, so we need to take out these bird nests. I think we should be good right here. We're concealed. Okay, let's get out our red trinity. Oh... One more. Okay. Uh, load back up. Alright, I'm going to swap over to a brick, just in case. <laughs> no one crosses Madame Carlyle. You can be sure of that. Feel missing a shovel. Okay, so what did we do with our shovel? Oh, did I leave my shovel? Crap, everybody. We need to go get our shovel. Don't want to leave our shovel. Okay, how are we going to become the Undertaker? How are we going to do this? Where can we place his body? That I am unsure about. We're gonna have to hide his body somehow without it being found. Finally, the birds are gone. 
Can I throw a coin over there somewhere? Run through everything before calling out and call all down. Hmm. Hey, pick that up. Why are you six years old? Finally, the birds are gone. Just run through everything before calling Madame Carl all down. Hey, come on, come on, come on. I don't know where to knock this guy out at. Using my reputation for this outrageous spectacle. Hey, does he drink from this water? Oh, I don't have the poison. Crap. How am I supposed to take this guy out? I need to get rid of this person. Oh, here we go. Okay. So I'm going to have to get rid of this person. Hey, who is throwing stuff around here? Come on! Okay, there we go. Yeah, what was that? You might want to check that out, my friend. You might want to check that out. Ouch! Okay, I'll take that disguise now. Thank you very much. And let's put you in here, sir. Goodbye. Earth key. Oh, got a way out, huh? Okay, I'm going to take this shovel. I'm going to drop it over here. There we go, because we'll be needing that for later on. Inform the staff that you are ready for Alexa Carlisle. Alright, let's do this. It's time. It is time. Hello, ma'am. We're ready for Alexa Carlisle. I am ready to show Madame Carlisle the funeral arrangements. You got rid of the birds? Yes. Perfect. I'll let her know. Mr. Parsons is ready to see Madame Carlisle. Disconnected. Okay, well, let's uh, retry. What is going on with the servers? I don't know. The servers are very unstable, that's for sure. Alright, everyone, so here she's come. She's on her way now. What does this say? Near my god to thee. Alright, so I guess we'll wait for her. This is so cool. I like this disguise, though. It's pretty funny. Crap, we have a security guard, though. That's not good. We may have to get rid of the security guard. That could be an issue, everyone. Oh, there's more than one. There's like well done, three. 47. Madam Carlisle is on her way. Okay, I guess it's just I one that follows her around, though. I wonder she would like her final resting ground. Mr. Parsons, I don't like to be kept waiting. I trust we can be efficient now I'm here. I can be very efficient, Madam Carlyle. What's that picture of me doing here? What an awful idea. I want it removed before the ceremony tomorrow. I must say I don't care much for the choice of flowers either. I need a moment to consider what I want. Okay, well you better figure it out. Oh, I need this guy to go away. What's that podium? Need this guy to go away. I find that having family members do the eulogy is more often than not a toe cringing affair. I've never understood the need to publicly display grief. A person died. Most natural thing in the world. No need to make an emotional spectacle of it. I hope you haven't planned for one of those. No. I prefer to keep it simple. <laughs> this is so funny, so menacing. Alright, go ahead. Where are you going next? And the gravestone. Granite. Solid. No fuss. I like it. Well done, Mr. Parsons. I approve. No! I didn't mean to do that. I hit the wrong button. I hit the wrong button. I hit the wrong button. Oh no. Well done, Mr. Parsons. I approve. I accidentally hit X yes. instead of Y. Whoops. It will mark your grave beautifully. So, to sum up, I expect you to remove my picture from the memorial. That was an absolutely horrendous idea. Very no! No! That's Madame Carlyle. Alrighty. 
Time to, to get feel the, the grave. On Arthur Edwards. To feel the grave. Oh, that is so crazy. Now he really is efficient. All right, where's my security outfit now? I need to uh, do that. Okay, everybody. So he will recognize me. I need to be careful. I'm going to drop that now. All right, so we need to get this case file. I have not found the case file before. I'm going to try and do it now. So it said we had some intel on the case file. So let's take a look here. So tokens for Rebecca and Mr. Fernsby. Okay, so one's the butler and one is Rebecca. All right, so we need to figure out how to, uh, how to get those keys or those tokens. And that should get us a safe. Okay, so let's get in here. We need to get Mr. Fernsby and Miss and Rebecca. A garden fork. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Not like we have to really take anyone out anymore, though. Okay, so the security's not allowed to be inside, it seems. I'm gonna go back outside now. From high hills. That is Phineas Whitmer, the famous private investigator hired by Madame Carlyle this morning. I'm curious why he's here. Maybe you should do some detecting yourself, 47. Okay, everyone, so I don't want to do any detecting, but I do need to get a disguise as one of these, like, in-home people. I'm going to see if I can find one outside. These may only be gardeners over here, though. That's the problem. Okay, so we can't use one of their disguises. So I'm going to have to find someone who works inside. I need one of their disguises. Need to get one of their disguises. Okay. Okay, so we got him. I don't want to take his. I gotta figure out a way to find someone whose disguise can we get. Is there a way I can sneak in here and get someone's disguise? Okay, so yeah, don't worry about me. Don't don't worry about me now. Okay, I think I can get this guy right here. Oh, I'm allowed to be in here. Okay, I can be in this part. Okay, I'm just going to knock both these people out, I guess. Ooh, no, I'm not doing that. Okay, I need to get this guy outside. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get out here. Get out here, my friend. Get out here. What are you doing? Yeah, get out here. I need you. I need your disguise. So hurry up. What the heck was that? I need your disguise, sir. Wow. Ah, oh, excellent. Ah, oh, see you later. Okay, go in here. You're going in here, sir. You're going in here. Okay, so now we're mansion staff. Couple more coins. Okay, so where's Mr. What's his name at? The butler. Where is he? Where is he at? And where's Rebecca? Okay, so we don't need to go in there. I'm looking around for these people. Gotta find them. So there's Mr. Whitmer. Okay, which one's Rebecca? Let me see, everyone. Which one is Rebecca? Do we know who Rebecca is? I think I might have to switch to Whitmer. 
I don't know. I might have to get his disguise. Just so I know who's who. Right now, I don't know who's who. What is in here? A brick. Let me see if I can get Whitmer's disguise just so I have a clue of who's who. Yeah, what was that, my friend? Okay, so I'm going to get his disguise just so I can remember who's who. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to steal his disguise. If you're dressed like a Detective 47, you might as well act the detective. I suggest you go talk to the butler. Okay, so I'm not really worried about doing this one because we already did this, but I just want to know who is who. Okay, where is the butler? Where is the butler? That is the question. Where is the butler? I don't exactly remember. Okay, so I'm just going to turn this one on. Oh, key characters unavailable. Crap. Of course they are. Because one of them is dead. So I don't know where the butler is, though. Okay, let's walk around. Let's, let's figure out what I need to find. I'm trying to find them. He gave me his coat and all. Rosie, you need to forget about Patrick. No good's gonna come of it. Stick to your own kind. Oh, you mean like Chris? He treated me like shit. All he wanted to do okay, where's the butler? Where is the butler? There he is. Mr. Whitmer, are you ready to inspect the crime scene now? I am. Very well. If you'll follow me, sir. Okay, so I need to get his chip or whatever it's called. I feel obliged to point out that current affairs surrounding Madame Carlyle are of a delicate nature. You may be familiar with the recent announcement of her death. You will probably learn that a staged funeral is scheduled to take place tomorrow. Scheduled. Madam's children were not informed until this morning that their back. mother was in fact not dead at all. So please bear with them if they seem affected by the rather unusual situation. I trust I do not need to remind you that there will be consequences if word gets out that Madame Carlyle is still alive. I'll consider her dead when I leave. Before you inspect the crime scene, I will tell you this. The case concerns the death of Mr. Zachary, Madame Carlyle's younger brother. He was found dead in his bed this morning. The door was locked from the inside, and a suicide letter was found in his room. However, Madame Carlyle suspects foul play and will not accept that he took his own life. I've prepared some information for you, so please do come and see me when you've finished your investigation of the crime scene. This is Mr. Zachary's room, to my right. Everyone, I figured this was the best way to do it. Room murder mystery 47. I trust you'll get to the bottom of this. Wait, who saw me? Drop the body or it'll be the last thing you do. Wait, who saw me? I didn't Give know they up. saw Let me. me. See your hands. Oops. Um whoops. Let's try that again. On the ground now. Okay, so I think that guy up there saw me, everybody. However, Madame Carlyle suspects foul play and will not accept that he took his own. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to move him somewhere else. There we go. We have the key to Mr. Mosby's office. That's Mr. Mosby. A <laughs> vault in the Milton Fitzpatrick London Oh, that's Bank. definitely not it. You need a pair, and you gain access no questions asked. I bet that's where Madame Carlyle keeps a copy of the Edwards file. Okay, so we're not allowed in there. I don't think anyone will spot his body. 
hopefully no one will because I can't really sneak in there with that guy standing there. Kind of makes it a little bit difficult. Okay, so now we need to get Rebecca, I think it is. So where is Rebecca? We have the half, we have Mr. Fernsby's token. And was it Rebecca? Let's see, let's check our intel, everybody. Rebecca Carlisle. Okay, I gotta figure out which one Rebecca Carlisle is and then we'll go from there. Alright, everyone, so I found Rebecca Carlisle. She is right here. So I need to try and get her coin or her token, whatever it's called. It's gonna be a little bit difficult to do, but I think... I think I can get this lady over here out of my way. By throwing it a coin over here. How about you pick that up and I knock you out with a hammer? How about let's do that instead? Okay, so let's put her in here and then whenever Rebecca walks through, I should be able to knock her out. And um, that should be my play. I think that's my move. Unless I can knock her out in here. There is somebody watching her, so I don't know. It might be difficult. Mother spent the last week at her Cypress estate. Am I right? I'm not at liberty to say, ma'am. Oh, come on. I need to know what's going on. This affects me too, you know. Okay, so he's not going to share that information? Okay, so I think... Yeah, that's my play. I think I'm going to throw a coin over here and I'll just knock her out. When she leaves this room... Unless she's just going to go over here and stand, which is kind of annoying. Phil, did you find out if the vote was notarized? But how the hell did that happen? Nope. We all signed it. I gave it to him in person. Okay, he come on, come on. Notarized the very same day. I right, need her to come out here, go please. To and ask for Cheryl. She's the best they've got. Tell her you want to see the records. Don't take no for an answer. And call me as soon as you've got them. Thanks, Phil. We'll get to the bottom of this. Okay, here we go. Come on. Walk on through here. I'm going to throw down a coin and knock you right out. Come on. Come through here. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. All right. Okay, you do that. Huh, I wonder what that was. You might want to go check it out and see what it is. Is that those bloody idiots messing around again? Yeah, probably. Some someone dumb. Just a dummy. Big old dummy. <gasps> One big old dummy. Okay, we got the key to her bedroom. I don't even need to go in the bedroom. But I need her token. Mission complete. Well done, 47. <laughs> Wait, did I get the case file? I didn't even get the case file, though, did I? I thought it was upstairs. Oh, okay. So we don't actually need... Okay, we don't actually need the tokens. I forgot, she just pulled out. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, let's get the heck out of here now. Let's get out of here. Alright, mission complete. Mission accomplished, excuse me, sir. We got the bank keys, that's all we needed. All right, and let's uh, let's pull out of here in the hearse. How about that? <laughs> That'll be a pretty sweet exit. Bart, right, could you get out of my way, please? All right, there. That's one way to leave a mission. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we did it. Let's go. All right, everyone. So obviously, um, we didn't do it completely without like you know dying once or twice. But uh, either way. Thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to drop a like on the video. If you did, then be sure and subscribe because I'm going to be playing some more Hitman 3 here on the channel. I just wanted to do some more mission stories on here, have some more fun. So uh, let me know some more of the things that you guys want to see on this game. And I'll be sure and try and bring it to you guys. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.